Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. I said I'd do a video when I had an update about Aether SX2. Well, I've got an update for you. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if you haven't been following along here, Aether SX2 is a PlayStation 2 emulator that's about to hit Android. If you're looking for details on how to pick up the open beta, I put out a video on it. I'll leave it in the description below. I do highly recommend checking it out. It's less than three minutes long. It's not going to waste your time. Now in that video, we talked about the initial launch date for the open beta being targeted for December 4th, which is this Saturday. However, since that video, Talrith here, who is the actual developer of the emulator, they've removed that target date altogether. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Talrith submitted an app update to the Google Play Store and he's currently awaiting its review. The review here, the time it takes Google to actually take a look at it and approve it, well, that's going to determine the actual beta date, and it might be a little bit later than we were expecting. It still might happen on December 4th, but it might be December 5th, 6th, or 7th, or possibly even longer. Everybody right now is currently at the mercy of how long Google takes. So my advice to you, if you're really chomping at the bit here because you want to sink your teeth into this open beta, just be patient. We've waited a ton of time for a half decent PS2 emulator on Android. What is waiting a couple extra days? It's not going to be the end of the world here. If you want to know when this emulator goes live and you don't want to wait for my video, check out the open testing channel on the official Aether SX2 Discord. Talworth will post the link here. In the meantime here, while you're patiently waiting for this open beta, I highly recommend checking out this website and I'll drop it in the description below. This is a list you don't want to be on. If your device is here, it means it doesn't have access to that open beta. If you open the Google Play Store, search for the open beta once it releases with one of these devices, you're not going to see it. These devices have been excluded for one reason or another. There are a ton of different phones on this list. So just be patient here. You might get access to it later if you have one of these, or maybe you won't. Just remember that this is PlayStation 2 emulation. It's not SNES, it's not NES. It will require a powerful phone, and it's currently just a beta. On top of all of that, if your phone is not listed there and you get access to the public beta, be realistic with your expectations in terms of emulation quality. Don't set the bar too high here. Just remember that this is a beta, with beta being the key word. In terms of software development, this thing is still just a baby. It's gonna grow, it's going to get better. It's still very early on here. Yes, it's gonna emulate some games, and yes, it's probably gonna be better than anything that's on the Google Play Store right now. But at the same time here, don't go expecting it's gonna emulate every single game at 60 frames a second with no graphical issues, with no slowdowns, with no errors whatsoever. More than likely, there's gonna be issues and crashes, and bugs and things that might frustrate you. I'm not talking bad about Aether SX2, we're just being realistic here. This is in a beta. I've got three more things to go over here. Number one, I keep getting messages from people saying, hey, I've got a leaked version of Aether SX2, check it out. Or hey, I found a leaked version of Aether SX2, check out this website. There are no leaked versions of Aether SX2. There is not a legit APK out there. A lot of them are malicious. A lot of them are hacked up versions of Daemon PS2. Don't fall for it. The only version will be on that Google Play Store. If it's not there and you find it somewhere else, it's probably not real. The second last thing here, I don't really need to tell most of you, but apparently some people need to hear this. If you join the official Aether SX2 Discord, be nice and respectful. Don't go in there angry and harass the developer and the moderators. It makes no sense. It won't get you anywhere. It's not going to solve anything. It's not going to help anyone. It'll probably just get you banned. We're a community at the end of the day here. We're looking for a good PS2 emulator on Android. We're excited about it. Be happy about it. Be cool. And the last thing here, it turns out myself and a bunch of other people have been mispronouncing this emulator this entire time. Alex over on the official Discord has kindly let me know that it is pronounced Aether SX2, not Aether SX2. I didn't know that, but I'm glad I do now. Anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts about Eater SX2 in the comments below. Were you mispronouncing it like I was, or did you actually know how it was pronounced? On top of that, let me know what games you're willing to play on Eater SX2 once it releases in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.